Today, we're going to take a look at LinkedIn Pages and using their API inside of Query Builder. Now, I've already authenticated, so that's something that you may have to do. There's a lot of tables and views available inside of LinkedIn Pages. There's a lot of similarity between them, and we're going to take a look at company page statistics. So a lot of the tips and tricks that we're talking about will be transferable. Let's start by choosing about page views and maybe all page views as our measurements. Now you can choose whatever you want, but this will give us some data. The other thing that we need to specify for this example is the start time and then the end time for our query. Now LinkedIn requires you to say is as opposed to after. So in your query, in this filter, use is as the operator. So I'm going from seven days ago until today. We'll apply that. The other thing that you need to set here is the time granularity. It's either month or day. It has to be in capitals. And then just so that we understand which day is actually being reported on, we're going to bring back the usage start time as well. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So here's our data. We've got our two measures. We've got the report time, which is the same for every row. And then you can see that we have our usage start time, which you can see the time is incrementing up. And that's what you'd want to use as your date dimension when you're building the metric. Now let's do something slightly different here as well. We're going to get rid of some of these selectors here, and we're going to start with a different look at things. So what we did right here was we were looking at a daily increment, a net movement of our activity. Now let's do something else. We're going to add category, and we're going to add type to this query. And remember, we got rid of the date range selector. So what we see here is this is the sum total of all of your data. And you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different categories and related types that we could then segment by. So this is almost, this is like snapshot data. Let's constrain this. And for category, let's only look at the seniority. And you may want to do this as you're building your metrics. You want to be fairly concise. This metric is only about seniority. This metric is only about industry, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see that's what we've done here now. This is still looking at the grand total. So this is valuable if you were making a snapshot metric. Let's change it just a little bit again, and let's see if we can get some net movement. So if I say the start time is yesterday and the end time is today, it'll go back and it'll give us a net movement for that single day. Now, this will increment throughout the day. And again, we're gonna add usage start time here and we'll see what we get. So you can see here that I've got my report time and then I've also got the start time, which is always on the 4th, so October 4th right now. And every day we're gonna pull in data for each of these elements and see this metric grow over time. Those are three ways that you could build a metric either on a daily basis without segmentation, you could build it as a snapshot uh, across a certain dimension, or you could look at it as a daily increment by filtering it down and using a very constrained time range. So hope this helps. As always, let us know if you've got any questions. Thanks.